Well, if you need that extra cup of coffee in the morning to get your brain moving, I need about five, then you may want to take notes from our next guest. Suzanne Atkinson is the owner, co-owner of Cuca Lake Coffee Roasters. And her most recent venture, Java Gourmet, has people looking at their coffee beans in a whole new light. Hello, Suzanne. Hello, Thanks so much Amy. for joining us on WCNY Connected. Well, thank you for having me This today. was a natural. Cuca Lake is Amy's favorite finger lake. Oh, my and goodness. And mine as well. Yeah. Really? And you live there, and that's where your business is. Correct. But you're not from there. No, I'm not from Cuca Lake. I'm originally from California, but I did have relatives. My grandmother was from that area and uh, always had a great love and affection for it. And when my partner and I decided to leave Boston to start a business, Cuca Lake was our number one wow. choice. We oh. were just discussing the Finger Lakes and how much they have grown oh. within the last 10 years. I mean, yeah. Ted, you remember when there was a couple of wineries on each of the Finger Lakes, mm -hmm. and now there's, right. there's not only wineries, but restaurants and mm -hmm. other businesses. It's amazing. Yeah, it's such a beautiful area and still very unknown to most of the country, but mm -hmm. I think that's changing. Mm. Well, there's only one Cuca Lake coffee roasters, and <laughs> <laughs> you brought some food today that you actually make with coffee. It's not just for drinking out of a cup anymore. No, we like people to think coffee outside of the cup. Uh -huh. And uh, we have two businesses. We do have a gourmet coffee roasting business, Cuca Lake Coffee Roasters, which we started in 2003. Mm -hmm. uh, and then my partner and I both, oddly enough, uh, had a history of coffee in recipes okay. in our families. Wow. And I'm a big cook, but I gotta tell you, other than your occasional maybe coffee in a, in a chocolate mousse right. or something like that, I think that's the only time I've ever used it. Right, and uh, Amy, I think that's how most people think of coffee. They think of the dessert application, mm -hmm. which is very different from what we do in Java Gourmet with our savory products. When you have coffee and sweet, chocolate and sugars, you get a mocha flavor, mm -hmm. which is what you're talking mm -hmm. about in a chocolate cake and whatnot. Wow. And we have that in our java bark which I'm over looking here. to try yes, myself. That's espresso Alexa beans boost. and chocolate, also Yowza. another favorite. Yes, yeah. indeed. So these are the actual beans you're using in the cooking, not like you're not brewing coffee and then adding that into well, the yes, recipe? Well, yes, we are. Now okay. in... Um, in fact, our, let's get to some recipes. Yeah, let's that's get the to best some way to show. Because We're going to start over here. The deal with the savory products is this, Ted. Mm. When you put coffee with savory, you don't get that mocha flavor. Okay. You get another layer of flavor. It helps to pull out smoky and nutty characteristics, but it's not about tasting like coffee. It's about flavor enhancement. Okay. And this has been a culinary secret. Chefs know it. Grandmothers used to put coffee in uh, pot roasts and things. Sure, and now but, it's all out for you there. Right, but now we've made it convenient for the at-home right. chef. Now what Ted's getting into there. Really can't, can't, this can't, don't let us this stop looks like a you Lil Wiener. go right away. We were, we were going to go with the whole recipe thing first, but okay, now well, this, this is... Well, this is something real easy to do. This is one of our sauces, our Java sauce, okay. Okay. which is an espresso-based barbecue sauce. It's got molasses, it's got some cayenne pepper, so you have the sweet and hot effect going, mm. and it has both brewed and ground espresso in it. And you just put it in the crock pot with these little wieners. Right, just, right? or you can use cocktail meatballs if you're more a meatball person, but it's a very quick easy thing to do, especially wow. with the holidays coming let up. Let it simmer for a long time? How long do we have to let that simmer? Uh, just till it's heated through, really. Oh, Everything's right. ready now to you go. Can, and now you try can try a little wiener. A little wiener. What do you think? Very, very nice. I won't sleep tonight. Now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, you say that, and I want to clarify right away that mm -hmm. caffeine is not an issue with cooking with coffee because caffeine breaks down at high temperature. Oh, oh okay. All of us chefs so, know that, Ted. I was going to say, Suzanne only got an hour and a half sleep just, last okay. night. <laughs> just like cooking <laughs> with alcohol, uh -huh. unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, you know. All right, now what are we, we're out. moving on to this one All right, one moving here. on, we have and a... I believe that we have the recipe that's going to be up on the screen as okay. well so that everybody can take note of what the recipe Very is. Very good, and these are also available on our website as oh, well. Great. This is the Borson cheese spread. Correct, and a Borson style cheese spread has two great components, butter being one, mm. uh, cream cheese the other. You can't really go wrong with either of those ingredients. Well, no, found, absolutely. Really. So, and on top of that, we have one of our Java rubs, our French countryside, okay. which has coffee plus a lot of the herbs that are used in the herbs okay. de Provence mix style that all together. rubs. We're going to try that a little bit later, mix but I want to make sure we get to all the recipes. Darn. And then what do we got going over here? And the last thing, it, because the only thing better than butter is really bacon. Wow. Don't you agree, I just like to so these are healthy, <laughs> spread these are healthy butter recipes, on bacon. Susie. These are <laughs> Absolutely. Good for a guy my size. So what we have here is 
uh, another one of our sauces, a java yaki. Uh -huh. which a is, java yaki wraps is what we're going to be making, right? right? And this is uh, a coffee-based teriyaki sauce, actually based on mm. a family recipe that did not have coffee at the time. But the best teriyaki you're ever going to have, very fresh, a lot of orange and garlic in Ooh. there. I actually marinate the bacon overnight, uh, just in a Ziploc bag. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take it out, and then what we're going to do you can put it around several things, scallops, shrimp, green onions, asparagus, and wow. you just take your bacon. Love that, Ted. Yeah, You're wrap a bacon it guy. right around. And then if it's summertime, we could grill these outside, but mm -hmm. being that it's not. Right. We, Which is why I'm getting my oven mitt ready right, because we're we going will, to be uh, getting exactly. them out of the oven. We do it right in the oven, uh, 350 to 400 degrees Actually, for I'm 10 to get 15 these out minutes. Of the oven right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And they are delicious. This is the most requested Ooh, sizzling appetizer we wow. do and they for look, friends and they family. Look great too. And I mean, really, the color's they, beautiful. Albeit bacon may not be a health food, really, this right. is a healthy alternative to a lot of appetizers. And Ooh. when it that all gets done, see it's sizzling. Good. Very, wow. very nice. Like great. That. All right. Now, Suzanne, we can find all of these sauces and everything right at your store. Well, actually, on our website, oh, okay, great. we don't have a retail location. Oh, that's even better, because then you don't have to we travel. We ship right to your door. Okay, you can shop in the comfort of your own jammies, which is what I like to Love do. Love that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's one. It's one week till Christmas Eve. Can I get it in time for Christmas gift giving? You. You better hurry, Ted. Okay. Better hurry. All Go right. online right tonight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I'm getting you java yaki. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Hey, if you'd like more information about these recipes or just more information on Java Gourmet, check out their website, as Suzanne just mentioned, java-gourmet.com. There's still more to come on WCNY Connected, including me eating all this great stuff. The oh voice, my. Maria DeSantis, joins us next to talk about her big annual event at the Palace Theatre. We'll be right back. Thanks.